Okay, I'm going to show you how to SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch to view the files and transfer more files onto it and everything like that. And I am running version 1.1.4 and this does work on all the other firmwares. I just wanted to mention that so I don't get comments asking what the firmware I have or if this works on whatever firmware. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to settings, then go to general, then set auto lock or hit auto lock and then it should be set to one or two minutes and set it to never and hit the home button. Okay, now what you need to do is go to installer. going to have to refresh sources and I have Wi-Fi wi now so it's a lot faster okay. and you need Wi-Fi to do this this won't work without Wi-Fi you should have to get your Wi-Fi's IP address okay you have to install all packages first thing you need to do is install BSD subsystem just scroll down to the B's and once you find it hit over then hit install and then hit the install button. I'm just going to cancel. Okay. Then it'll install, it'll download and everything. Then you're going to go back. It'll take you back and then go to all packages again. And then go down to the O's. You'll see open SSH. Just hit over on it and then hit install and then hit install. It will install. Okay. Now, then what you're going to do is hit home. Okay, your phone will refresh. You'll have to unlock it. Okay. And then you should see the open, well, you should see nothing actually. Okay, and you're going to go back to installer. Put it in the fresh can. Okay, get to install all packages. Then scroll down to the B's. And you need to install something called. Can you see it? You need to install Boss Press. Install the, it should be the top one that gives you all settings. Just install that. Okay, and then go to Home and it will refresh again. You have to unlock, you have to slide unlock. And then you should see the Boss Press little thing. Okay, this allows you to turn the SSH on and off. Alright, now make sure SSH is turned on. Actually, I would recommend you turn it off if it's already on, and then turn it back on to make sure something that should refresh. Okay, now hit home. It will go home. It may refresh, I don't know. Um, and now what you're going to do is go into your computer. Well, actually, first what you need to do is go to settings, and where it says Wi-Fi, just click on that. And then your Wi-Fi will come up that you're connected to and hit the little blue arrow. And then right there, you will see IP address. Okay? Beside IP address, you need to write that down and remember that. Or keep it open, actually. Okay, now you're going to go into your computer. Okay, now what you need to do is download WinSCP. I'll have the link in the description. It will take you to this in space website just scroll down and it may take a second for it to pop up and hit beside download the link it just hit win scp blah blah dot exe exe okay it may take a second to pop up okay if you get that error just hit it again all right now this will pop up um you're gonna hit run it will take a, it may take a little bit for you, but I've got fast internet. Okay, hit run. Then next. 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 Install. <coughs> Don't install everything. And then make sure to launch when SCP is checked and then hit finish. Okay, now you can close this. Alright, now you may have to look back for the host name. You're going to have to fill out this form. Alright, for the host name, it was that the IP address that I showed you earlier. Just go to the your Wi-Fi under settings and then hit the blue arrow beside your Wi-Fi and then it'll show you that IP, just like I showed you before. Okay, now I'm going to type in mine.
0.168.0.209 okay you just type in your IP address there and then for root for username type in root R O O T and then for the password the password is Alpine A L P I N E Alpine okay then you're gonna hit make sure this is selected as SFTP and then hit login and make sure your iPhone is plugged up to your computer okay if it doesn't work the first time just try it again alright and make sure you have the open SSH turned on alright and then there you go there's to the right is your files on your iPhone or iPod touch and if you wanna th this is your folder that starts out in as private slash var slash root just to go up you just hit the up the up folder alright and that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe